The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at this uh, cash S and P. Uh, we wanted to, this was my uh, my uh, error. I really thought on Friday we had hit that, and that we were getting ready to back off because it was a beautiful A B C D there, and of course you can see it gapped up yesterday and it gapped up today, folks. I don't care how far you go back on an S and P card this chart. To, to when it started way back in, uh, oh dear, Standard & Poor's 500 back in the 40s, I believe. Anyway, you won't find a gap, and we have two of them. We have one here on Monday, and we've got one here on Tuesday. Now, we've made the 78% retracement, which is all good and fine. We're having a pretty good rally. Those of you folks that are in Apple, folks, I've been asked to take a look at that stock again. But frankly, it's, it's got some real serious problems. Look at it. It's, it's still... It's, it's barely, it's actually down on the day now from where it was. We rallied up to the 61% retracement, but on the daily chart with a huge volume, I mean, everybody that's bought this stock these last few days has got, gotten creamed. I mean, uh, it just, just doesn't look very good at all. So I would be really careful of that stock. I know it's the greatest stock in the world, but I would still be careful. But remember, folks, careful is my middle name. Now, this pattern that we're looking at here in the S&P equated to, let's get it up here, and that number was, I'll get it right here, that number came in at uh, 52.26. Now, you'll notice here that we haven't made new highs here. Now, at this level right here, the S&P cash was making a new high. Back on the old floor trading days, when we saw a new high in cash, but not a new high in futures, it meant that the futures had weakness, and you can see a little tiny bit is backed off, but really not enough to even, not to even mention. Remember, folks, this is the daily pattern, too. This is the, let's get the daily. See, that measures to 52.27, and the high has been 52.24. Now, the question is, is that three points off, or is it still going to make it? Only the trading gods know, and we're going to find out if that's going to be the case. Okay, so just keep a, keep your eye on that. But the one we one we did was the Russell because the Russell offered the uh, best risk opportunity and an absolute completed pattern there. So that's why we were doing the Russell versus the other. Now a couple things uh, that I wanted to also mention to you that we're going to be covering on the show on Friday, and that is this uh, pattern. Um, that I got from Tom Hugard. By the way, Tom is doing a uh, world tour here. And uh, here's here's our December corn that we're in, folks. Okay, now, there was yesterday. We had the three, let's just show you if you like three eight twos, folks. There's your low from right back here. There's your three eight two pattern right here. Goes a penny below it. Today, it went exactly to it. Ah, but it, look at this, 460. So looking at the daily on this, this is a completed pattern, and I highly recommend, and, and uh, you know we're just a few cents away, but you highly recommend that you exit that position because that's completed the double ABCD pattern right here, this pattern right here, and that's what we're here for. I know there's a there's a potential drought going on in in Brazil, and may power make more power to them, but the first time it's not a drought, folks. It's a it's a um, harvesting. Uh, problem. They're harvesting the crop, and it's got too much rain, and so they can't get into the fields. That's basically what Rich Anderson has told me. So make sure that you've taken profits in your uh, December corn. Now I, I want to. I hope I'm going to bang the drum a little bit here because I really think some of this stuff is very, very important to try to get across to you. So let me get this last one, which is my. Uh, if I can find that little soybean oil contract here, if I can just find it right there, maybe. Nope, that's crude oil. Let's move over here and just pull out the crude oil, uh, the soybean uh, that we were looking at, which is the December contract. And again, remember, 
here's what I wanted to show you. Remember, we were trying to buy this down here at 42 and change. It didn't get there because of what's going on. But if you move this over just a little bit here, and we'll, we'll expand it here. This is yesterday's range and today. Okay, so what we want to do is after a bottom is after a, 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 a bottom is after the market has had a really good rally, and this is a good rally. Okay, you took out the previous day's high, so that makes it a good rally. You want to watch for the first retracement, and that's the 382. So if you put it your little scaler on that, there was your buy this morning right at the open, and you can see that made an easy $600. Now, we also if we're going to count this as a 3 or 2, we have to start looking at it from the last level that we had a major low. So we either can use this one or this one. That's a choice you can make. I, this one's taken a long time. So is this one. I would take this one because it's uh, taken really good uh, several hours. It came right in. And you can see this one went just a little beyond the 382 went almost to the 50% and then rallied another $300. So that's what we'll try to do on Friday is to, you know, calculate how to do some of these things because this is uh, it's a good tool for for scalping and day trading and, and entering positions. So it's it's fun to watch the work and that's the main thing. And this is the first time, folks, let me just show you this is the first time in a week now that we're actually seeing signs that, the, that there might be a little bit and I'm referring to this as a small thing here as a little bit of a problem now look at this the last couple of days here we have not exceeded the highs in december wheat and this thing has been a monster you know we this is this is one where putin was short if you remember uh, don't worry about putin i'm sure he came through it okay but anyway see there's a, there was our bottom uh one of the bottoms down in here uh but then you had the uh, first 382 retracement was here and then you had your second one uh this morning, there's your from a high, took out the previous day's high, came right down to the 382, and it rallied 17 cents. But the problem was it didn't it didn't take out the previous day's high. Now the harmonic number is important because that's 17 cents in wheat, and uh, 17 and 34 are the two numbers. So this is what we're watching right now. Looking at this on a shorter term basis, and I'm going to just do this real short term. If I were sitting here and this were Friday. And I will be looking to sell that thing right there at that 382 right there at, well, it's just about got there, 90 and three quarters, not risking more than about three cents because you've got a potential triple top up here, okay? And then you also have a 382 rally. So if you sell it here, you put your stop there, you only have to risk $150. Where can you trade wheat when you don't have to $150? So I don't think that's going to happen too much. So those are a few of the things that we're paying uh, really close attention to here today. Also, we're going to take a look here uh, at these November beans. By the way, Paula Douglas will be our guest, Paula, <laughs> Paula Webb Douglas. Here is the soybeans. They've had a monster move coming off of this 786. Took out the previous day's high, came back and touched the high one more time. If we get below this level here, and it's not far away, that's the first sign that there's going to be a little bit more of a correction and we want to be ready for that one so take take a break here and we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model? 
when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities. Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and we have uh, Jeff from uh, New Jersey online. He's asking about the difference between a weather market and a regular grain market. Is that correct, Jeff? Uh, yes, you took the words right out of my mouth. Well, since you emailed <laughs> me ahead of time, I knew what those words were going to be. <laughs> okay, all right. Here's here's where our bottom was down here on May 1st, uh, which uh, eight days ago when we were setting right at – well, let's just show everybody because we were setting right at the exact – 78% uh, level right there. And th there it is on May 1st. We were saying there's your 78% retracements. Just blow this up so we can see it. And then we've had one, two, three, four, five days straight up. What we're going to do now is to show you the difference. So ordinarily, when you have five days up, you're, you're going to have corrections in between. This has no corrections. No correction the first day. No correction the second day. That's your first clue that, woo, something's different. No correction the third day. Okay. You finally got a correction here today. This this was the first day we've had a correction. We've had the low here and you came right up to almost the exact, I think it was pretty close to exact anyway. Misses it by one penny. The, it took out this low and then it stopped right and we went up and went above the highs again. See, every time in a weather market, Jeff, every time you make a new high, I don't care whether it's a 30-minute chart, hourly chart, daily chart, it's going to have a profit because it's a running market. What you have to do now here is let's say you buy this high right here. And that was at uh, 21. And now it got up to uh, 30. So you've got a nice profit in that. Now, since you have high here and high here and high here potentially you want to have your stop at break even right now because then you have no risk at all because if it comes back below that this could be the first sign that you're getting ready to see a pretty serious correction for as long as that happens uh, if we get a nice correction here of about 36 cents off the bottom somewhere between 18 and 36 cents 36 cents will take you down here to to 11.92 so my assumption is that it's going to be pretty active when it does come, and it might, and it may not come. Maybe it's going to be, this is going to do the whole season. But every time it makes a new high, you buy it, you're going to have a profit because look at this. Just every single time you pop above those highs, it, it, they're scared to death. If they're having trouble in that little area of Brazil, out of you know, which is only a third of the crop in the world of soybeans, they're two thirds there. Two thirds here, one third there. We haven't even planted some of these beans. What happens if something goes wrong here? We get a little too much water, a little too much heat, and our crop comes in a little. You'll be looking at twenty dollars soybeans, because uh, hey, if gold can go to twenty four hundred, soybeans can go to twenty. So we'll see. They got to eighteen once. 
but uh, they will get to 20 eventually. Right. I used to trade them when they were $3 a bushel, but that's a long time ago. Uh, so it's interesting. What I'm hearing is, in, you know, in a regular market, you want to buy on the dips, but in the weather market, you actually want to buy on a, buy on on a, a new strength, high. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's exactly right. Huh. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I'm going to be, I'm going to be well, covering that Friday, so I hope to see you on the show. I know you were there last time, so I hope we'll see you this time. Okay. All right, terrific. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you, bet, Jeff. Thank, you, thank you for calling that question. In. All right. Okay, folks, let's All move right. on here and uh, move this out of the way and see how things are moving around right now. Not too much is going on. I wanted to cover the dollar index, folks, because we've had a nice sell-off in the dollar index. It came right down to the 50% retracement of this low right here, and I think it missed the 382 of the bigger one by just a hair. Yeah, that would have come in right about there. Now we've had a little bit of a rally here for three days, a three-day rally in the dollar index. That means the euro is rallying a little bit, so we're going to take a look at this on a smaller time frame. And we should be making a little bit of a retracement here right now. Here's the dollar index. Okay, and let's see if we're at the old 382 right now. And by golly, that's why the bell was being rung. That tells you that this is where they're going to be. There was uh, yesterday's high was over here. Uh, here's today's high right at, uh, we're setting right at the 382 right now. That means what we should do, since we've got a couple of minutes, is to take a look at see where the euro is. And we're going to do something a little different this time. We're going to look at the euro futures. Don't do this very often, but we are going to look at that. Put the 60 minute up, and this is where we're watching the euro right here. And if the dollar is supposed to be going down, the euro is supposed to be getting ready to go up. So we want to find out. If we have any correct, we don't even have a correction here uh, for the euro. That's that's uh, that's very unusual, boy. That <laughs> be really careful being short this one because let's see. The last time we had a rally here, let's see if we went down to our three eight two. Yeah, we've hit it one, two, three, four, five, six times. So that tells you there's a lot of support in here. So uh, if you think the dollar index is turning, you buy the. Euro here with a stop down about 20 points because that's got a chance to have a pretty good, uh, pretty good run just based on what that dollar index is doing. Because remember, the, the the euro is 53 percent of the value of the uh, dollar index. Very, very important. Now, since we're on that, let's take a look at the British pound. Since we have so many friends over in the UK, and here is the British pound. We'll get this up right now. I think it should be in the midst of selling off a little bit. There's where we are. Okay. Now, we're just going to look at this over the last few days. Now, let's go back. We've had a really strong trend in here, correct? So the first thing you want to do, this is over a few days, you finally get a pullback. You want to see if that pullback is going to take you right to the 382. Now, if you want to know how to do this, sign up for the show on Friday. It's a piece of cake, and you'll have some fun uh, doing it. This actually has a bearish pattern here for several reasons. As you can see, we had this major, this pretty big top up in here. Then we have lower tops. This is the 135 pattern that we love to see. There it is right there. And if you take a look at this from your, uh, you made a new low here. So from the high to your low, probably went exactly to the old 382. Ah, 50%, that means it did it off of the high. And you draw that in, and you'll see there was the exact 382 within two pips. And that's why it's headed down. Okay, let's take a little break. 877, stay tuned for Paula Webb Douglas in the house. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com.
If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we've got Paula Webb Douglas on the line today. PT, how are you doing? Great. How are you doing, Larry? I'm reminiscing here, PT. It was 28 years ago that you guys came from Chicago here to Tucson so we could all be together. Do you remember that? Yeah, I think I was about 10 years old, but no, I, you yeah, were, I remember you were, that. You were, you were 11, honey. You were 11. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's true. I just had a birthday, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was August the 16th, which happens to be the birth, uh, the day that the King Elvis Presley passed away, and we were having a storm. That was beyond the wildest dreams. I mean, we was one of those big uh, summer monsoons that we had. And the uh, the tree in front of my house split open and went into my bathroom and, and you know did a lot of damaging stuff. But where have those 28 years gone, sweetie? I, 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 can't, I can't imagine where they've gone. I mean, I just, it seems just like yesterday Mark left us and it was, how many, six years now? It's going to be eight. Is it really? God, that was yep. the day that, yeah, oh my God. I sure still miss you. Thank God you left to cover, cover the torch. Now, tell the folks you're going to be giving a webinar coming up, and it's a free webinar, but the folks here really like the price. So tell the, tell the folks what it's about. <laughs> uh, well, basically, I'm a guest speaker at a, a large uh, webinar uh, put on by Synergy uh, events, but um, it's live, it's interactive. There's, I think, 30 other presenters uh, all all leaders in the field. You know, one somebody you know, uh, Dan Gramza is one of the speakers, and um, Jason Jankowski. Uh, I think you know him too, Larry. You know, blast from the past, and oh, yeah. then of course, the star of the whole event, of course, is moi. And so I'm <laughs> going to be leading the pack this afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific time. You can go to my website and find the login details. And again, it's free, yeah. free, free. And we're just going to be talking about the new age of trading psychology. Of course, you know, I'm Mark and I created the field and I'm still 
you know, the guru of this subject. And so yeah, sure we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going to rock and roll this afternoon like you and I do. Yeah. Yeah, they found the publisher finally gave you uh, uh, right. I mean, put you on the, f- the cover, didn't they? There. Of, uh, yes, they. They after because yeah, you were yeah, after all several the work decades you did. <laughs> of fighting me about it. They finally yeah. are going to put my name on as yeah. co-author with the Discipline Trader. Um, yeah, it, it just yeah. so that was like I said, it took me a couple decades of fighting, but yeah, uh, no, they're finally going to honor the the contract. So, so it, it so that'll make a lot more sense to people you know, who really don't know my name that well, is that, yes, no. I've been there from the beginning. So that was, you that was a milestone have. and I'm, I'm a little tenacious and I got it accomplished finally. Well, so, I, I know Mark. Probably Mark in the fall, to, probably in the fall, you, the book will be out with my name on it. Good. Well, people don't realize when you're dealing with a publisher to change anything after the contract is signed, it's like trying to rewrite the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, exactly. Really, they just don't <laughs> like to change anything. I remember Mark fought with him and fought with him, and of course, he never expected to leave as quickly as he did. But anyway, you're doing a great job over there, and you're the chaplain there at the uh, San Bernardino Police uh, Sheriff's Department, correct? Uh, Riverside County. Riverside. Oh, the whole county. Yes. Yes, that's I work. Whole, you a, know, I mean, a, wow, that's the largest county in uh, all of California. Well, second largest, but the point is, uh, it's, I mean, I get, I'm at a one station, basically, but they could call me anywhere in the county if, if need be. And of course, you know, I have gone all across the county uh, sure, wow. on occasion. So which, that's my way which, of giving back to yeah. these great first responders who keep me safe and wow. uh, let me do my work with traders. Good. Now, what's a larger county than Riverside, Los Angeles County? I think so. Yes. Really? Either oh. that, either that, or San Bernardino. Oh, right. It could be San Bernardino because you got yeah, all that there's desert out there. a lot of country. There. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. It's, it's San Bernardino. San Bernardino yeah. County. Yeah. Well, right. listen. Thanks but, for joining I mean, us. My today. county now, is tell, pretty tell close. Tell the folks. Large, so. tell, tell the folks. Tell, you're in Palm Springs, though, correct? Palm Desert. Yes. Palm Desert. Okay, now, Palm Springs. Same area. Sure. Now, you, what? Tell the folks again. It's at four o'clock Eastern time, and what's the website? Four o'clock Pacific time. Okay, and they 7 o'clock yeah. Eastern, okay. Yeah, 7 o'clock Eastern time. So just go to my website, and you'll see it under under the events page, and you just click on the link, and, you know, you just put in your email, and you they, they send you the Loom, Zoom link, and you can join at any time. It's a three-day event. It started this morning at 7 wow. a.m. So, uh, you know, but I'm on just today at, at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, um, but there's a lot of really good uh, speakers that are that are going to be there. So um, you might, you know, people listening in, they might find it informative. So just like I said, go to my website, politiweb.com or markdouglas.com, whichever one you guys have, and um, just go to the events page and you'll see it for today and just put in your email and Come and join in. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, okay. People are going to be able to ask questions and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's interactive. Okay. Listen, thanks for joining us today, and we'll have you on again soon, okay? All right. Thanks, Lair. Thank See you. See you guys soon. You bet, folks. Paula Webb Douglas, an old friend from the past, for heaven's sakes. Okay, let's take a little, um, get get the charts back up so we can see what's going on. Uh, with the markets here, we're almost uh, hitting our price objective in the uh, old E-mini uh, S&P, folks. So uh, pay attention to that number. It's up there at 26 and change. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm missing data. Shut the front door. Only in America can this happen to me. Oh, dear. TFNN, I have to I have to reboot for a second. I'll still be on the air, but i got to reboot the data pro- program. Otherwise, I'm going to be in... Uh, I've got to find out what's going on in some of these things, so please uh, bear with us here for just a moment, and then um, you just—I'm not going to make that break because I've got to get this up and running, Al. Okay, I, I, it's too late. I've already started it. So if you have any questions, folks, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay.
trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, while we were chatting with Paula T, we hit the price of the S&P at uh, 52.26. The high so far has been 52. 2675 whether that's going to be the high or not uh, who knows but on this particular trade you don't have to risk a lot of money i think about 10 points would be the absolute maximum i remember i tried it here and i lost on that one and uh so we'll be nibble again at the other time let's check check and see uh what's going on here uh, hold on a second oh just a second here oh can't answer that let me get rid of this here no way I can do that. Sorry, folks. I'm, I have more technical difficulties than anybody in this uh, business uh, ever. I mean, it's just really, uh, <laughs> it's it's really, uh, uh, it's very annoying. But unfortunately, I've had trouble with the Internet, not Internet, with uh, Mr. Google. Uh, evidently, he said I did something wrong. I don't think that I did. But that's why I've not been able to send out videos all day yesterday. And we finally were able to send out a few this morning. And these were the things we were talking about, these numbers that we hit. Now, there's the one in the S&P. Uh, here is the one in the NASDAQ. We went up. Oh, let's just get it up here right and get the daily up here on the NASDAQ. And you'll see that one measured here at a 52.17. We're trading at, uh, excuse me, uh, it's trading at 82.22. It's actually 15 points higher than the, the price objective. Let's just see if, in fact, this was a 1.618 expansion of that last swing. 
and that would tell us something too. And there's your 1.618 expansion coming here. It didn't get to that, but it's still a tiny bit above it. But remember, this is the this is the wildest of all this this Nasdaq one. So it's still above the the pattern here. Um, here is the Russell. Uh, we were selling that at 88. Uh, it's actually moving down a little bit now. You see here, uh, there's where we are right there. Now, this just because of this higher low, you have to redraw that pattern. This is why I didn't do this last night. I did it this morning when I was looking at that pattern. And there's your A, B. See, ordinarily, this is the one you draw, but you can't because you have a higher high, okay, and a higher low. And that says you should come up here. At 2288, I believe, was the number. Well, it says 2293. How did that change? Oh, it must be changed off of this. Let me f let me do the daily on this, folks, because I don't want to screw this up because it was really – there it is right there. 2088, there's your ABCD going back over the last few weeks. It's trading at 2083.70 uh, right now. And this also is a head and shoulders pattern. Here's your shoulder uh, right here. There's your head, it jumps around right here, and then here is your shoulder right here coming in. Uh, I thought it was going to be right here on Friday, but of course, it continued up. See, usually what happens is it's the Fibonacci numbers that will control the things. That's what Einstein said, but you know he was wrong part of the time too, because this time it was the pattern. Usually, the mathematics you know, precedes geometry, but today uh, geometry preceded mathematics. So you got to figure out which one is which. Main thing you got to realize too is you're looking at a situation where you've got a major, I mean, super major, major um, cycles coming to do. Two of them. First of all, you got the they got the full moon, whether it's in Taurus or not. I, I'm just counting days, folks. But the ones that are in there that are really important that Norm pointed out yesterday is you have the moon at perigee. Or excuse me, the the Mercury is at perigee. And perigee is as close to the sun as it gets. Or excuse me, as close to the Earth as Earth as it gets. And then we also have Mars at perigee, too. So you got two major planets of the four trading planets. Mercury, Mars, Venus. And Mercury, Mars, Venus. Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Yeah, those are the four and, and Mars, those are the big five. So three of those big five have some really important cycles. Whether it means anything or not, I don't know. I'm just looking at the patterns and the ratios. I get involved with the astrology stuff, and it scares the hell out of me. You know, I look at it when I think it's important. I thought it was more important here on Friday than it was today, but today is the today's the full moon in Taurus. So I don't know uh, whether that's going to be it or not. All I know is and that's what I'm looking at right here. So that's what we're paying attention to here to here this morning. Now, we got a question about uh, another stock, and that is Google, because I mentioned that in the uh, uh, because of the fact that it looks so darn bearish in the uh, newsletter that I did last week. Uh, Google starts with a G, doesn't it? Yeah, there it is. So we're going to put up a 30-minute chart here because we're having a nice rally going on today. Uh -huh. And here's where it is right now. Okay, now there's, there's where we were on the big, and then we had the gap down, okay, this is when it gapped down, went down to this level, and all we've done so far, this is, this is Google, let's just draw it down right here so we can see it together, let's get this high up here, because that was the big high, I think it was 85, 84 and change, so we're going to draw this in, well, this would be a good trade if I were watching this, there's your a leg, B leg, C leg, coming in uh, exactly at the 50% level. See, yesterday, what we did, yeah, let's see where we are here. Uh, yep, yeah, it's almost, well, it's a little above the 382, but setting in this area uh, right here. This is a five-day rally, folks. First to the seventh, and you'd think you could get more than eight points out of a stock that's trading 180. The one that looks the worst to me, and I, and I don't know anything about the stock, and I'm going to show it to you again because so many people own this. There's a reason. There's so much money coming to, to uh, Apple, and yet it's just not acting, you know, really good. I mean, here's a, here was the big move here. Everybody that bought this on that day here, they, well, some of them had a profit earlier this morning, but every. Everybody else still has a loss on the daily. I mean, this is not this is not a really good. And the fact that it hit the exact 61% of the whole year's range in one day, 
with that huge volume like this, boy, to me that means something. But I don't, I'm not a stock trader, so I'm not going to read too much into it. Okay. What else do we have to look at here? All right, here. Maybe we'll have Shane Smolian as our uh, guest here on Friday if he's not too busy. Okay, and uh, oh, uh, yeah, Shane is telling me that, oh, this is a stellium. That's correct. I want to get this up here to show you folks. Oh, I lost it. Son of a gun. I'm sorry. Got too many things going with all the other stuff I have going on, but uh, it is, you know, uh, yeah, I got to do it. Hold on just a second. Norm sent me this thing so I, I can easily come up here, take a look at it. Hold on a second, get this out of the way. Move it down a bit here. I would prefer to get these. Okay, here's what I'm looking at right here, okay? Okay, this is one of those things where you got all these plants lined up in this these three little how well most of them are right here and then the rest of them are right there there's nobody look at this you got one two three four five six seven this is just moon seven eight of, of these of the 12 eight of the 12 nine of the 12 75 percent of them are right here right now that means something i used to look at those things but uh, the main thing i look at of course is the new moon and the mercury stuff the reason why i use mercury because George Bear, who was one of the great traders, used Mercury. And then also Albert Einstein, when he discovered the theory of relativity, it was because of the planet Mercury. It had to be at a very perfect place against the sun on a specific time for him to prove the theory of relativity. Now, I'm one of the few people that know how to... to uh, to uh, explain the theory of relativity because all of my relatives were into that kind of stuff. See, we had a bricklayer, an iron worker, and a carpenter. Son of a gun. Okay, and uh, we've got the... Hold on, something's just happened here. They're, they're ringing the bell here. Hold on. The Dow Jones is making a new low on the day, believe it or not. And I think that's what they just said to me. Hold on, that would be a sign that things maybe have turned here. Oh, no, it's just a correction low. That's all it is. This one's not a new low on the day. Ooh, almost is, though. There's the low of the day. Yeah, it did. It just made it. No, no, it didn't. I had it set too soon. See, this this is your low of the day. If we start getting below here, that tells us that, uh-oh, something, uh, something is amiss with the Dow Jones. So let's see what the 382 is on this, just for kicks and giggles. Hi. There it is right there. It stopped right there. So this is a very important low that we're looking at. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing here. Take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. 
as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, in that last uh, three-minute break, uh, the, the E-mini for the NASDAQ has dropped 60 handles. We went from 8260 down to 8260 handles. That's $1,200. So in a very, very short period of time, we almost made a new low on the day for the Dow Jones. So uh, pay attention, folks, because this may be a tiny reversal day for another buying opportunity. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, those are a few of the things that you're looking at. Try to, if you can, our goal on Friday is to make money. It's going to be from 8 o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock. We want to be there for the 8.30 uh, report that comes out because we get a lot of volatility, and that's when patterns work their best. And also the Fibonacci numbers work their best. So those are some of the things that we want to be paying very, very close attention to when we're doing this on Friday. It'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be our eighth one. We're going to do them uh, twice a month. Uh, until the you know the folks don't want to see it anymore. We had a really nice group of people that were interested in learning. We had a lot of fun. Made a really good money on the 12th, uh, several thousand dollars, and we made almost a grand on uh, the 11th. On the excuse me, on the 26th. So our goal is to cover the cost of the thing, which is 250 a month. So that's the end of the commercial. So listen, folks, try to do something nice for your neighbors. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, Mother's Day coming up. If you've got a mother or a grandmother, you know, try to be kind to them and also to uh, do something nice for your neighbors because we need help out there, folks. The world is in turmoil. I've never seen it this bad in uh, all the years I've been gone. I've never seen much hate, this much hate in the world. And where it's coming from, I don't know, but it's not a good thing. It certainly is. Now, we've just made a new low in the Dow Jones on the day, so that's another thing to pay attention to. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, and our guest should be uh, Shane Smolian. Excuse me. <laughs> our guest will be uh, uh, Stan Harley. We'll be right back, folks, tomorrow.